Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, just getting up some of the main engine parts here. Now, I like to start with crankshafts, it's like right at the center of the engine. So, uh, I'm going to do the 3x3 example today because uh, it's big enough to kind of get the, get the point across really easy. So, I'll do a uh, two cylinder. Uh, you could just repeat this on, and I'm going to get the cylinder. Uh, next. So I'm just going to place those on top and you'll see uh, the bottom of the cylinder has a shape that corresponds to the crankshaft. So uh, I'm going to put that on there as well. And uh, on each end of the crankshaft there's a circle. And that's her, that's basically the drive shaft itself that goes through the engine. So you don't want to attach your cylinder to that because we're going to be using those in a minute. And we also have these four circles, and these are going to be your manifolds for air and fuel and all the things you get on a regular engine. Uh, so I'm going to actually start by getting the drive belt. And I'm going to put this right here. Now the drive belt is, it's got like its own modular system to it you'll see these uh, rectangles here and you can actually attach things like a starter which I'll get right here You've got a starter and that will go on there and that's simply a motor that will drive the drive belt which will drive the crankshaft to start it and you could use a regular motor for that um, but yeah starter and we also have two more we've got the uh, fluid pump that's there. I'm gonna put that on the side, and I'll, I'll use that for my coolant. I think so. You got the fluid in, fluid out as a regular pump, and it also goes onto the drive drive belt there. And then we have the alternator, which uh, just is a generator basically. So uh, you can get some power there. Okay. And now I'm going to move on to the um, just adding all the connections in. So we'll get the air manifold first for the air, and I'll put that on the side right there. And these actually give controls for throttle independently, so no uh, valves needed uh, if that's something you were worrying about. And I'll get coolant as well while I'm here. So these actually attach with the same four circles onto the side of the cylinders. Cylinders in series like this, they're connected by a manifold maybe. So you could have a um, system like this, which just connects the cylinders together like that. And they would share the same um, inputs for coolant and anything else you might have. So fluid in, I'm just going to pipe this straight there. And that will be a nice light blue. And then got fluid out. This will be a dark blue. This isn't actually going to cool itself, the pump. So what we're going to do is pump it through a radiator or heat sink or whatever you want to use for your um, coolant so let's do that get the blue and just put that in a in a loop basically same thing as you would do on a uh, standard engine just to loop for coolant don't have to use the pump it could just go straight in, that's fine. Um, but the pump's there just to uh, speed it up. And uh, I'm actually going to do the air right now. They added a few new um, intakes. So you have to scoop intakes, which, as it says, performs better at higher velocity. So cars and things that move um, are going to get a performance boost there. You could use a regular port. Um, the fluid intake, the air filter is new, which is um, the same as the port, I guess, just for air. And also the air ram, same thing. 
I think it's a reskin right now, but I'm not sure. And we can just put that straight on there. If you don't want to, if you have your engine enclosed or something, you have to pipe that out to open air. Fuel manifold now. Yeah. And I'll put that there. And I'll just get a simple large tank to go on the side. Okay, so now I'm going to get um, some drive on my engine. So what you can do here is actually uh, use a clutch. They have a new new clutch block uh, for the different size engines um, that can just go straight on today and give you some power. I could use a flywheel, which uh, once power has been taken off, the flywheel will keep the engine turning at uh, speed and then you can also put the clutch straight on there or you could use a converter like that that would actually take your blocks down in this case from three by three to one by one you could also do it um, the opposite way so you could go three by three to five by five one by one to three by three and all that so I'm just I'm just gonna uh, do a regular clutch on there for this one, and I'm going to give it a gearbox, which are pretty cool. And uh, there's the different three different sizes, the three different engines. Um, each gearbox can be used on whatever engine you have, but the bigger ones have a, uh, a higher torque rating on them. So. Uh, they can actually be damaged uh, if you read the description there so I'm gonna be using the 3x3 three three. I'm gonna turn it around just so we get um, some fast speed I'm just gonna get a uh, medium generator on there so this engine is gonna be powering um, a generator which is gonna be pretty cool so now I'm actually going to come out here and I'm gonna get some controls on this we are going to uh, optimize this engine, well not really optimize it, but get it running um, on a fuel mixture, fuel to air mixture. So I'm going to get two throttle levers to independently control um, the manifolds that I talked about, uh, throttle and throttle there for the air and fuel. And so we'll get fuel. And then I'll get a starter. Uh, there isn't a block with a starter, but a push button. And that will actually go to the starter on the uh, block there. And then we've got some inputs here. We've got clutch for the fuel and the generator. I'm simply gonna give that a constant number of one which is going to be fully active so they're going to be active all the time there's also going to be the fan because I am using an electric radiator so it actually uh, takes power so I'm going to give that a constant on signal straight to that so it's always going to be on as well and with that we need a battery of course so I'm going to chuck that there Oh yes, we need exhaust. I forgot about that. Could use um, a manifold coming out, and then to either the straight manifold or the exhaust corner manifold. Now these are regular manifold blocks, but they have access for a pipe on here, so that's where your your uh, your exhaust would come out. And I'm going to use the corner block. Just put it up and use an exhaust block there okay so I think that's everything for our engine I'm going to just change the ratio on here to something like that and uh, yeah that's all for the construction so let's spawn it in so we've got our controls here and the fuel and the battery and the engine it's looking nice 
So we're going to see what power we can get out of this. If you look at your cylinder, you'll see you have air fuel ratio and stoichiometric uh, efficiency and your manifold. And the crankshafts have the RPS um, as a label as well. So we're going to be trying to get that stoichiometric to zero, as close as to zero as we can, because that's going to give us the most uh, drive in our engine. So I'm going to start with ratio, say 1 to 0.5 there. And uh, when we turn it on, we'll see it's actually running. So we got a 0.35, so I could give that a little bit more fuel. A little less. See, that's running almost perfectly now. And I'm not getting... Oh, I didn't activate my clutch. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of tinkering to get the power right, but we have a clutch. And our generator's going here. I had to get rid of the gearbox. Because it was uh, only two cylinders. It was a bit too weak for that. As you can see, the clutch is only about 0.6 in. But yeah, it's running nice, it's kind of green off your fast. This is a large engine. Um, so that's going to just about do it for this tutorial guys. Hope you enjoyed and you learned how to make an engine in Stormworks. It's going to be really exciting to see what comes out uh, on the workshop with these engines and uh, what kind of crazy power uh, we can make. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.